Hello, my friends. Welcome to another episode of Mass Recall. Before we begin the UED campaign, I wanted to share something beautiful with you. Remember at the end of the last mission of the Protoss campaign, where we gave us the victory thing twice and tried to play the cinematic over the other thing? It was just chaos. It was like, you win multiple times. Yeah, we apparently we got 112% victory because of that. I don't understand these percentages at all. What you gonna do? All right, so what we're gonna do is the intro cinematic to Brood War is actually just more or less the intro cinematic to this campaign, so I saved it for now, and we're going to jump in and watch it. I will see you in a sec. All right, so I couldn't actually find that cinematic in the Mass Recall thing. I have no idea where it is. I'm sure it's there, but I just figured it's actually easier to pop into the Brood War client and play it. I just want to warn you guys that I don't know what the audio levels are going to be like. I think it might be a little bit louder than normal. So just be prepared. And then everything should go back to normal after that. Oh, no, I don't want to play on Battle.net. <laughs> um, view intro, there we go. So, Gerard, I suspect you have a good reason for pulling me away from my duties. Your vodka can wait, my good Alexei. Come, stand here. You need to see this. I know all about this, Sir Gerard. We've all seen the tapes a hundred... You've seen nothing. Dissecting a dead Zerg in a lab is one thing. Unleashing them on men is another. You must go into this with both eyes open. Once started, there's no going back. Are you prepared to go all the way with this, Alexei? Yes. Yes, I am prepared to go all the way, my good Admiral. Good. Good. I knew I could count on you. Admiral, the colonist base will be overrun in a matter of minutes. Shall we intervene? Take us into orbit, Mr. Malmsteen. We've seen enough.
That's a good cutscene. I think it is one of StarCraft's better cutscenes. One sec, I need to jump back to Mass Recall. All right, we are in the Mass Recall now. We have teleported to the future. It is time to begin the UED campaign. Ah, oh, that's a really good cinematic, I think. It's one of the best StarCraft 1 ones. I think that makes the speech is better, but... Oh, it just plays. I just couldn't find it before. All right, <laughs> well, we're not gonna watch it again. I thought it would say cinematic colon the name because that's what it does for most of the cinematics when you play them through that menu. But I was wrong. Terran Campaign, the Iron Fist. Since the conflict began in the Kapulu sector, the ruling council of the United Earth Directorate has closely monitored its wayward Terran colonies. Having witnessed the steadfast advancement of the Zerg infestation and the maneuverings of the Protoss throughout the colonies, the ruling council has finally agreed to take control over the war-torn sector. Learning that a new Zerg overmind has manifested itself upon the planet Char, the UED has sent its greatest admiral, Gerard Dugal, to capture the creature. The captain of the UED fleet under Dugal, or as the captain of the UED fleet under Dugal, your objective will to be to storm the Terran Dominion and depose its dictator, Emperor Mengsk I. Adjutant online. Good morning, Captain. Our long voyage from Earth is over, and we are holding a stationary position near the borders of Dominion space. I trust that the effects from your long, cold sleep have worn off by now. If not, the med officer can provide you with additional cryostem supplements. Admiral Dugal has issued a proclamation to the entire fleet via Transmed. I'll patch it through to you now. Attention, defenders of the United Earth Directorate. This is Admiral Dugal. You were all briefed before we left Earth, so you know that we have come here to conquer this sector in the name of humanity. Should any of you have second thoughts about performing your assigned duties, be reminded that if we fail in our mission here, not one of us will be going home. We stand or fall together in this forsaken wasteland. Serve the Directorate. Serve humanity. All other priorities are secondary to victory. De Gaulle out. Transmat completed. Receiving incoming transmission. Good morning, Captain. I am Vice Admiral Stukov, tactical advisor to Admiral Dugan. I see you've already reviewed his proclamation. I'm sure it doesn't cover anything you weren't already familiar with. Once you get to know the Admiral, I'm sure you'll find that he's actually quite personable. At any rate, Captain, I do have orders for you. As we are about to begin our invasion of the Dominion, we will need access to their primary data net and weapons diagnostics. To this end, you are to assault the outlying planet of Braxas and take control of its capital city of Baramas. You are to deploy your forces within two standard hours. The Admiral expects perfect results, Captain. Stukov out. It's Stukov. The most popular character in StarCraft, according to our popular character tournament. We got a quote. Hell's... <laughs> we no longer have a quote. <laughs> Gotta be a speed reader for that one. Oh, I like this. You can tell this is where they started putting in a ton more effort. Like, <laughs> I'm glad that they followed the <laughs> command center positioning for Brood War. Oh, that's beautiful. That is so wonderful. <laughs> Every mission is better when you have to pick up your command center at the two second mark. All right, so we got two siege tanks, which are pretty good. We have vulture production, we have marine production. 
I'm gonna see if I can just. Oh gosh, it's slow. Why does he have a gun? He doesn't need a gun. He's a vulture. He doesn't shoot it. That's just a lot of work. All right, let's introduce another character. Captain, I am Lieutenant Samir Duran of the Confederate Resistance Forces. I've been monitoring your attack against the Dominion, and I'd like to offer you my services and skills in return for amnesty. Intriguing. Lieutenant, you have absolutely no idea as to who we are or what we have come here to do. Why do you wish to side with us? Because my men and I have sworn to fight against the Dominion and its Emperor. Seeing as how your forces have been laying into this Dominion base, I figured we were on the same side. I see. How exactly do you propose to be of service to us, Lieutenant? Well, I possess intimate knowledge of the surrounding area. I can show you an alternate route that leads to the rear of the main Dominion base. Very well, Lieutenant. Consider yourself and your men the first colonial conscripts of the United Earth Directorate. Captain, see that the Lieutenant is given our full cooperation. We shall see if he's worth the effort. Alrighty. So now we have a Samir Duran. I'm sure he won't be important, ever. All right, we're gonna bring this guy over here. We're gonna swing down, get all this going. Yeah, a lot of very important characters get introduced in this mission. I was gonna say popular, but I don't think that Duran is like super popular. I actually think that Duran is more popular than after he gets his doctorate. Sorry, I'm trying to not spoil things, but Stukov, definitely very popular man. Everybody loves him. Only person that apparently could contest was Donnie Vermillion. That was a weird tournament. I'm <laughs> still not entirely sure about the results of that, but whatever. Uh, let's see. Oh, he has an ability, Stim Infusion. Movement speed. Oh, and heals him. That's pretty good. So, it takes 50 energy for Stim, basically. Except it's Healy Stim. Which is great for a hero unit. That actually might make him viable. So, we only have one gas geyser. We're probably going to have to go for... Oh, gosh. That's a lot of fire bats. Luckily, it's just fire bats. Marine Siege Tank as our composition. So, this mission involves sneak attacking behind the command center. I'm just going to tell you right now, the answer to your question is no. Busting the front is basically impossible. I apologize. It just is. I have, in regular Brood War, I have taken a maxed army to the front of this place, and it still got wrecked. I will make an academy so that I can make a science vessel to show it to you. Not a science vessel, a comsat to show you what the defenses are like. But they are insane. Okay, what is going on? They're just sending guys in from every which way. I'm going to need some siege tanks in siege mode. Because this is getting pretty ridiculous. Here, we're going to send the one-two punch of Marine SCV over there. Pulling the boy. Then they're getting a nice little poke over here, which we need to deal with. Oh, goodness. They have upgrades. No, they don't. Huh. Marines just slaughter Marines, I guess. Alright, the Academy is on its way. I do need those Marine upgrades, and I probably don't want to build too much over here, but I think I need a bunker. Because that was already some pretty heavy pressure. Oh gosh, stop rebuilding. <laughs> We're just going to ruin their economy. They're going to send everything. Uh, given... I think I just want a little bit of protection on that via these eBays, and then it'll be fine. We're going to siege up a tank behind it too, and that should mean that that area is secure. 
because I don't want to build too much over here, but I guess my infrastructure is over here, so it's kind of a hard decision to make. I will say, a lot of pressure for the first mission. Very cool. I like it. We don't have medics yet, so I'm going to send my injured guys into there. And we will get medics next mission, which is great. So here is the entrance to this... Oh, that's not the entrance to the base. That's like the pre-entrance. Here's the entrance to this base. <laughs> it's We do not have the tools required to bust this. I was... I'm really glad that I thought before I finished that sentence, by the way, because I was about to accidentally mix the phrases of crack this nut and bust this area, and it would not have been good. But I did stop myself beforehand, however, I thought that you should know. Alright, we can get stim pack, we can get U-238 shells without ever having to click on this again. Perfect. Is it a waste of resources? Absolutely. But it's never truly a waste if you don't have to click on the academy again. Stop rebuilding! <laughs> Fine, you're in siege mode. I'll stop your construction projects permanently. This is too many factories. I can't afford this. We just need more barracks. I can probably afford like four or five racks plus two factories. I'm not even sure I can afford two factories, honestly. So we have machine shops. It's not tech reactors. I have to remember that. It just gives the wrong little lettering down there. Research and, complete. oh, I do need 1-1. One, one. These guys are going to chill out behind. I'm not, like, super confident about this base, which means that I want to make sure it's defensible. And everyone else will head over here. And I'm going to legitimately try to keep Duran with me. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's just the first one that's a tech reactor, and then it's a machine shop. Got it. I think we discovered that before, and I just have to remember what happened in Magical Terran Land last time. It's been a while since we played Terran. Uh oh. That's not good. We're gonna have to go in for the flank there, I think. I actually have a little bit of a skill that's gonna help out there. Is it called just having a siege tank? Yeah, probably. Okay, we're gonna get Duran. We're gonna cloak him. And we're gonna walk him forward. And we can nail that with a lockdown missile and a lockdown missile, and then we go. Nice. Oh, dude, stop jiggling. I'm really going to try to get value out of spellcasters in this mission, or this campaign, because they actually work. And they're much easier to use. I think stuff like medics are actually going to be really good. Medics are already top tier, but no one uses their abilities because they're too hard to use. Like, there's a famous clip of Boxer using Restoration just because no one else used Restoration. <laughs> this is a pretty good army. Yeah, let's go. I do have to do this in one push if I'm going to actually bring Duran with me. However, I think that he's going to be pretty powerful. Oh, we can't sink these depots. I just made a bad wall. Of course, I forgot about that. <laughs> I think there's a little outpost over here. That's where the marines were trickling in what from, right? Nope. You want a piece of me, boy? Hey, that's a little outpost. How do we get up there? Oh, the giant ramp. Sorry, context clues are lost on me at times. I'm not entirely sure that Stim was a good option to grab, honestly. I just kind of grabbed it because it was on the academy and I built an academy. And we could use it for one fight, but it's a huge HP loss, you know? It's a little risky. Oh, man. Just getting that macro groove going on feels really good sometimes. I've been doing all these stressful runs recently. The last Mass Recall mission was pretty tough. Uh, Minehawk's Gauntlet's pretty tough, and I've been rerunning Wings Liberty Deathless at the same time. And sometimes it's just good to be like, alright, this is mission one. I'm just gonna chill out. I'm gonna macro a bit. And I'm going to be successful. 
Because the game isn't requiring something insane of me, it just wants me to play decent. Uh oh, siege tanks. Gonna be very careful. You can win that fight. I don't see anything up there. Interesting. I thought they would have... Oh, we just kill. I don't know. I thought they'd have better stuff over there, honestly. This is going to be a fast one. That's okay. Mission one should be a fast mission. <laughs> we're clearing out this area nice and safe. And then we're going to set up our siege line, move forward with the infantry. And then move forward with the siege tanks after that. This is probably going to pull a lot of guys. Wait, where's the objective? Oh, here it is. It's like way down there. Okay, let's poke it and then pull back. Let's stim and murder it because they don't have anything here. Huh. Alright. That was actually less defended than it is in Brood War, which is really weird. Like, seriously, it's way harder in Brood War. <laughs> That's the first time that a mass recall on hard has been even comparable to Brood War, honestly. Even Mission 1 was way harder than the original StarCraft missions, but not here. That guy's got a sweet truck. Look at that. It's just a truck with an auto turret on it. If the Valkyries flying over would look way cooler if they had a... S It'd look much cooler if they had a consistent height instead of being X height above the ground. So they're just like, whoa! <laughs> Valkyrie pilot needs a turbulence warning before they go. All right, my friends, thank you for watching this. I hope you have a wonderful day. Tomorrow is going to be what I think might be my favorite no-build mission ever. I'm not going to say it's my favorite StarCraft mission because my views have changed. When I was a kid, it was definitely my favorite StarCraft mission because it was just so cool. But this is definitely probably my top no-build mission ever. So look forward to that. I will see you then. I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace.